And I'm not just saying it because of me, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not just saying it because, you know what I'm saying, Lil Wayne, T-Pain on it. I ain't just saying it because of me and the Deftones on it. I ain't just saying it because me and Mink Conditions on it or Buster Rhymes and Twister and Yellow Wolf or B.O.B. and uh, Hobson and E-40 and Snoop, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just explosive because the beats are big and my rhymes are like better than ever. How'd you kind of get all those um, those collabos in, man? Because that's it's chock full of them, I'm serious. That's crazy. A, a lot of them said my name somewhere and then I called. Mm. I'm like, whoa, I had no idea they knew me. Same thing with Wayne, I didn't know, I didn't know he knew. Mm. I went to go visit him in Rikers after I, after he said he wanted to work with me. I was like, wow, let's go. What was that conversation like with him, man? It was wonderful, it was three hours, man. Three hours at Rikers Island, man. I, I hated to see him in those kind of clothes, you know what I'm saying? But when he got out, he said it was gonna be on and I went down to Miami at uh, Hit Factory Criteria and did a song for the Carter Four. And uh, it was good to see him drive up in that Bugatti, man. It's like, that's where he belonged, man. That was wonderful. I was standing outside when he drove up, like, oh, I was like, yeah. Where you go? <laughs> what, well, actually, what's the track for Carter Four or anything you can I, tell us I right now? I can't tell you. I don't even know if it's going to make it. You know what I'm saying? I just hope it makes it. He, he, he loved it. But that was a long time ago. So you never know. Yeah. You know. From one day to the next, you never know what my, people might want. So. If it's on there, you'll get it. I'm sure if, if it's not on there, you'll get it. It'll leak it or something. Yeah. I don't know. That's what happened with Carter Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then came up a whole new album right after. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of craziness. I was, I was just happy to be in there to be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? It was a wonderful thing. So I murdered it. Obviously, it's the wide acclaim because it's gotten, it's kind of been, been the bigger, I guess, um, accomplishment for you. Obviously, Killer sold one million. Where these kind of two stand against each other? Well, this one's going to sell way more. You know what I'm sizzling? Um, a lot more people are paying attention. And, um, it made a lot more people take notice. And I can tell from all the responses when my MC says, how many people haven't been to a Tech 9 show and the whole crowd erupts. But the, the crowd is changing and, it's, and there are more sold out crowds. You know what I'm saying? Most of them on this tour have been sold out, man. Even in Canada, we did 15 before we started over here in the States. So I can see it growing, man, like a forest fire, as always, so, but even bigger now. Well, you mentioned that on uh, Love Me Tomorrow because it's that, that kind of growth you're having right now. Yeah. You know, mainstream going tech now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can we expect any other like kind of crazy collabos, like some black metal shit? Are you going to do like oh, yeah, Big yeah. Boy and do some like indie rock? Like what's going on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right after this, I'm doing um, a collabos uh, album called Strange Land with all of our artists. And then right after that, I'm starting a rock album. It's called Kibosh, Killing America's Beliefs on Society's Hood. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't just want it to be like rappers yelling over rock guitar, man. I want it to be like music, you know what I'm saying? I want Leonard Skinner fans to like it. I want, you know, I, I want uh, Avenged Sevenfold fans to like it. I want people who used to listen to The Doors and still do, like myself, to like the album. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be music, so we're going to attempt to do it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, in our music, we have that rock energy since, since the beginning. I'm looking at uh, Worldwide Shoppers. You got the two guys, two international cats on there. Where'd you find those two? Cesar and I'm forgetting his name. Cesar. Chaser is from Turkey. I did a song with him back in the day called uh, Dark Places. And that's how I knew what he could chop. And uh, Uso from Denmark. He lives in Germany now, you know what I'm sizzling. Um, I've done international player with him back in the day, you know what I'm sizzling. And every time I go out to Denmark, him and LOC, we, we do, we do uh, big stuff out there, you know what I'm saying, do the Roskilde festivals and stuff. So I knew that Uso was a chopper, it's just the fans on Twitter say, don't forget Uso, don't forget Uso. I'm like, damn, that's right, my boy do chop. They, my fans reminded me, so. Thanks to the fans, you know what I'm saying, and my homeboy Uso, much love. He made it on uh, Worldwide Choppers, and he is a chopper. Uh, what's a primer for a lot of those new cats who are, who are looking out for you now? What can you give them to say, all right, this is definitive tech that you need to know before you come to the show? If you listen to Riot Maker and Einstein, you pretty much got one or two of the hyper songs that I do that I'm going to have to do for the rest of my life, you know, on, on stage, you know what I'm saying? And the energy will let you know what you're in store for when you listen to both of those songs. I was thinking about you, like one of the probably the more honest like artists out there, just about who you are. You come up for interviews. Yeah, man. I'm, and it's clear. I'm, I'm inside out, man. I'm mm -hmm. inside out. My fans know it. I think that's what they put. You know, they 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 love best about me because I'm not afraid to tell them I want to cry or tell them I'm confused. You know what I mean? Um, people are nosy. They want to know what's going on in your life, and if you're brave enough to let everybody in like I do, you might piss off some of your family members, but uh, they know it makes for good music. And I do it, and the fans love it. And that's all I know, because Quincy Jones told me when I was signed to him in 97, tech, rap, what you know, and people will forever feel you. And what do I know better than anybody? Myself. That's what I do.
Follow me all around the planet, I run the gamut on psychology They can never manage, we do damage with no apology Pick them up, they panic a little minute Cause I gotta be frantic, I'm a jamming cause I'm an oddity Cop up the track, I look and grab it and mama knock Cause I can pop it, she pop it cause I'm popping So I can fuck and give me the top of hip hop And watch it, make it rock with it, so stop it Stop it, pop it, not the worldwide chopper You know what I'm saying? Yo, this be the one I'm called Tech 9 Right here on LP33 TV Strange music represent independent dollars